I'm gonna channel Kim Kardashian crying face in this video. Oh, wow. It's giving dookie. Is the Harry Potter She Glam makeup collection really worth it? If you clicked on this video, you're looking for some answers, and I'm here to give them to you. In this video, I am going to unbox, swatch, and give an honest review as to whether or not this makeup collection is worth your money. When I saw it, I put it in my cart and I immediately checked out. I said, debit card. But I know some of you might be on the fence. So before you check out, let's get right into my brutally honest review. The presentation is really cute. I like how it says, have you seen this wizard? And there is a mirror, so I'm angling it up because it's going to like blind everybody. And it does come with a plastic protectant sticker on the mirror to make sure that the mirror doesn't get scratched up in shipping. And then it also says She Glam and Harry Potter at the bottom. So you do have a nice little box, gift box, if you want to gift it to a friend. Ah, it's so cute! The inside of the box says Wizarding World, Harry Potter, and then it has a little illustration of Hogwarts at the bottom. Inside we have some goodies. Again, this is the full collection, so we will see everything that you can possibly get. You can purchase individual products from the collection if you just want to get the lip glosses, you just want the palettes. We have a Hogwarts letter. Every true Potterhead will always appreciate and cherish a good Hogwarts acceptance letter. I don't really love that they had to add the She Glam on there. Kind of dilutes the magic. Then again, it is a She Glam product, so I understand it. They could have put the She Glam on the back of the envelope. Not something you might even care to display if you're not a collector, but still cute. Oh! It's Velcro! Magical mail! I love it! What is inside? Ooh, that's a nice little envelope though. I will I will keep that. The leaflet that contains the full collection, so we have the titles and all of the descriptions for the items inside to give you the Spark Notes condensed version of this. We have the Hogwarts Houses palette set, the Bewitching Bruise lip gloss set, Gifted Herbologist glitter lipstick, and the Magic Cauldron lip mask. Look at how cute this freaking palette is right here in the front. Oh! I'm gonna channel Kim Kardashian crying face in this video. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the obvious attention grabber in this, which is this palette. Oh, she thick thick. I was expecting to pull out like a little tiny thin palette. This has got some girth. This does not feel cheap. A wheel that has all four Hogwarts houses and the sorting hat. I thought this was gonna be like a spinning wheel where you could have the hat point towards your house. It doesn't move. Opportunity missed for real though because if this actually moved, that would be so cute. It doesn't even come off. It would also be cute if maybe they Velcroed this where you could have the hat sitting on your house. I don't know, something like that. That's not taking away from the actual palette. I'm just saying that would be cute. It's magnetized so that the front will stay latched. Let's open her up, shall we? Oh my goodness, just every part of this is so adorable. I really, really like this. It kind of looks like stationary also, just like celestial witchy stationary, but it kind of does have a Marauder's Map color palette to it. Let's check her out, shall we? I am shooketh. Oh my birdie butt beans. <laughs> They're really stunning. They look like spell books. I do like that you can get all of them. Some people might just want to get their house, which is also fine. I personally think it's super cute how they have them all here in this collection together. So you can actually keep your palettes in this book right here and keep them in your vanity so that they stay safe. Or you can take them out if you want to present them. Either way, you can't go wrong with how they have presented this. Here is the Gryffindor palette. It does have an expiration date on the back. It looks like it's going to last for two years. It says it expires in September, 2026. Oh, the little thingy lingy fit. Ooh, a little plastic flew out at me. Ah, oh, this is so cute. Four eyeshadows inside the palette. One of them is stamped with the Gryffindor lion. I think that's super cute. I really like this glittery one up at the top. So we have the shade Daring, the shade Bravery, Determination, and Courage. So we have the Gryffindor character traits right there within the palette. Next on to the cream of the crap. Just kidding. Again, we have Slytherin here in foiling, and then we have four shades. Oh, on this one, it's a little bit different. We have two matte shades, and then we actually have two glitter shades. We have Ambition, Cunning, Leadership, and Destiny. 
destiny. Next we have the Hufflepuff palette. Why'd they stiff the Hufflepuffs like that? Because there's three matte shades and only one glitter shade in the Hufflepuff palette. They didn't even give you guys like a shimmer shade or anything. They just gave you three mattes and they're all very like bland shades. Well, Hufflepuffs, you better like nude shades because that's pretty much all you got. We have trustworthy, hard work, humility, and patience. My sister's a Hufflepuff, so represent. And then last but not least, the Ravenclaw palette. I really, really like the inside of this one. The blues are very beautiful. Here we have the Ravenclaw and the foiling. I've noticed it looks like they have the same like nude shade in like all of the palettes though. We have wisdom, curiosity, wit, and creativity. I do like how all of the palettes have one pan that is stamped with the mascot. I think that is really cute. There we have it, the Hogwarts house palette palette set. If you want to see swatches of all of these palettes, then keep on watching because we are going to swatch them. The next item in the collection, I'm going to pull this out here. I see a Mandrake Gifted Herbologist Glitter Lipstick. Also, I forgot to mention this entire collection is cruelty free, which I do try to look for and only buy in my own personal life. It says this lippy applies smoothly onto your lips for a glassy black finish. I didn't know it was a black lipstick. I'm not mad. With micro glitter flex, it features an ultra hydrating formula and an easy to use bullet applicator for a beautiful, magical, plant inspired look. I get it. It's supposed to look kind of similar to like magical potting soil. That's what I'm thinking because they have the mandrake and it's herbologist. So like magical planting soil, potting soil. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what she's about. Little Miss Gifted Herbologist. Oh, I was not expecting this. This is very cute. It looks like a greenhouse. On the exterior, we have a bunch of different herbology illustrations on here. We have a mandrake, we have some devil's snare. It does have this really cute kaleidoscope effect on the inside. Let's open it up and see. Ooh. Oh my, <gasps> so sparkly. Can we all just take a second to appreciate how sparkly that is? That is so gorgeous. I don't know if all of those glitter flecks are even gonna come off. Sometimes glitter cosmetic products don't work as good as they look. I have bought glitter lipsticks in the past that the glitter is just absolutely not there. When you try to put it on, it's like, is the glitter in the room with us? But hopefully that's not the case with this because this is gorgeous. Does it have a smell? No. Super cute, and we are going to swatch the lipstick as well later on in the video. Let's move on to the third item that I can see in here on this top layer of the box. Pull this little baby out. Oh my goodness, perfect timing. We have the Magic Cauldron Lip Mask. It is winter right now. My lips have been going through it. I need a mask. So this is the perfect time for me to be opening this. Our Magic Cauldron Lip Mask features a light lavender color that applies transparent on the lips for a gloss-like sheen. This special brews ultra hydrating meadow foam seed oil. Meadow foam? I am sorry, what? That sounds very fairy core and I'm with it. We have a little cauldron on the front. We have that same foiling and then She Glam and Harry Potter on the top. <laughs> it's got a little spatula. There's a little spatula in there I can see. Oh, look at you. I think I pull it out like this. No? Yes? No? Here's the little tiny spatula. Look how little tiny. It's not special. There's nothing special about this spatula, so we don't need to focus on that anymore. Here we have the Magic Cauldron Lip Mask. A very cute design. I will say it doesn't scream Harry Potter to me at all. It actually is kind of giving me more of like a Maleficent vibe, almost kind of like a Snow White vibe. It's not giving Harry Potter, but it is still very cute. It looks like some more Devil Snare on the outside. That might just be magic. I don't, I don't really know what... Is that a uterus? Okay, it screws open, twists. Looks pretty standard. Oh. <laughs> I got the chills. So it doesn't smell good, which is really upsetting because why, why would you, why something that's gonna go on my lips, right under my nostrils, right under my old factory bulbs, why would you make this not smell good? I feel like this should have smelled like a raspberry or like a cherry, you know, like a black cherry raspberry. Would have been a perfect scent to tie into this overall vibe and the look and the color and everything. Why? 
Does it just smell like hair gel? I don't wanna like put it on my lips cause that's where I can taste. Like my mouth is real, it's connected to my lips. My tongue is in there. And if it licks upon my lips and it smells like hair gel, I don't wanna eat hair gel. But like if this smelled like black cherry or raspberry, I'd be all up on that. Like it's okay if my if I get a little lick in cause it will taste like a Jolly Rancher. Not like I'm just gonna part my hair with Old Spice putty. Spatula is pretty basic. Kinda just looks like a tongue depressor. It's okay. I'm not loving the lip mask. It's not really giving me excitement as much as the other products were, but it's okay. Not everything has to be a banger. Am I right? Let's move on. Assuming the rest is hiding underneath this top floor. So let's pull her off. I'm going to require two hands. Oh, okay. She just comes right off there. So here inside we have the palette. The next palette, let's pull it out. I don't see lip glosses. That is concerning. Oh, this is not a palette. This is lip glosses. Let me reel it back in. So here we have the Bewitching Bruise Lip Gloss Set. It's supposed to be like potions class. So it says the subtle science and exact art of potion making. I do like this. This looks like a book. Look at how cute that is. Look at it, it's a little tiny textbook. I'm going to school. <gasps> I took a little peeky peek. I shouldn't have taken a peek without you guys, but let's open it up. Oh, look at it. I like this a lot. This is really cute. It shows all of the potions. Amotentia, Felix Felicis, Polyjuice Potion, and then we have the Draft of Living Death. Four iconic potions. I'm gonna pull out the first one. I don't really know how to pull it out. I'm gonna try. Do I just, I yoink it? I just, oh! Here we have the Felix Felicis. I do like that the top looks like the top of a potion vial. I don't see any type of like scent or flavor or fragrance on any of these. Especially brewed with thyme extract. Hmm, so it's not gonna taste or smell good. Guys, like I, I want things to smell or taste good. Like if it's not gonna smell good, at least make it taste good and then vice versa. Cause it's going on my lips. It has almost like a spatula, silicone spatula applicator to it. Very different than what I was expecting. Oh my gosh, it doesn't smell like anything. Why didn't you make it smell like something? If you can't figure out what Felix Felicis would smell like, just make it coordinate to the color. You know, I wouldn't be mad if this was just like a cinnamon or like a vanilla sugar smell because it just looks like vanilla or something sweet. Vanilla cupcake or something. Make it, make it smell like a cupcake. Make it smell good. Give me something that I'm like, I need in my life. Polyjuice Potion is also a glitter lip gloss, so it's very very glittery, very green. Definitely don't expect it to have a smell. Not feeling very confident it's going to. Nope, Polyjuice Potion does not smell either. It does say that it has millet seed extract to moisturize your lips. At the end of the day, I'm still gonna use them even if they don't smell good, but it would be nice if it smelled good. So here we have Amortentia. Now this one specifically is not glittery. It's just a basic solid pink shade. See this one, they should have made it smell like strawberries. Strawberry, cherry, go down the roster of the pink red fruit. It doesn't smell like anything. That's perhaps the reason why the price is so low because they didn't have to pay extra to put scents in it or any type of like flavor into any of the product. It says Amortentia features Phasalis fruit extract. Phasalis? Phyllis? And then the last thing we have is the Draft of Living Death. I'm gonna pull this little baby out. Ooh, I do like this one. Here's the Draft of Living Death, deep purple. I don't feel very confident that this is actually gonna hold color on your lips. No scent. I kind of feel like it's just gonna come out as a clear lip gloss. It's not gonna hold any color. I don't really feel like any of these are thick enough to hold a color for very long on your lips. We will swatch those later on. Presentation is really cute. I do think they look like little potion vials, which is really fun. Let's move on to the last item within the collection. We have the brush. It would have been cool for them to make some more brushes for the collection. One singular brush for an entire makeup collection seems a little bit odd. With Harry Potter, there are so many things that they could have made into brushes. I know there's other brands that have made Harry Potter brushes. I actually have some that have like the mascots and the crests on them. Maybe there's weird licensing where they couldn't do that. But we just have one little makeup brush. Looks like it's supposed to be Harry's wand. It is a pretty nice material though. It's not plastic. It's definitely got a little bit of like aluminum. It feels kind of like aluminum. It's heavier. It has a nice feeling to it. 
and also the bristles are pretty nice. Doesn't feel like a super cheap, derpy little brush. Here's what the brush looks like. Again, I think it's supposed to be Harry's wand and then some basic bristles at the end. Overall, pretty good weight for a brush. Just says Harry Potter and She Glam on the bottom. It's nothing crazy. It's pretty basic, honestly. It's all right. I'm not screaming or quaking, but it's all right. We'll give it that. I believe that's everything. I don't think this comes out. Yeah, that's everything. So we have the brush, we have the lip mask, the lipstick, the lip glosses, and the palette set. Overall, a good amount of product for the price. All branded, really cute. Let's get into some swatches, and then I will give you the tea on whether or not I think this is worth your money and worth the price. It is time to put the formula to the test. So we are gonna start out first with swatching the Hogwarts House palette set. First shade right here is called Daring. I'm just gonna touch it and see what it's about. Ooh, it's actually, oh, it is very creamy. This might look similar to my skin tone. Oh yeah, it's very similar to my skin tone. I'm gonna put them all on my hand and then show you. Bravery, this glitter shade. I'm gonna touch this one next. Okay, definitely not coming off as glittery as I would have thought. Oh wow, she's sheer. I'm dipping into this for the third time to try and really give it its fair go. So now I'm gonna go into this Determination shade. This is one of the stamped shades. Oh wow, very, very soft. Oh, well I just completely destroyed and obliterated Gryffindor Lion. Oh my gosh, that is pigmented. Holy short. And let's go into the last shade. Here we have Courage. I'm gonna use my pinky for her. Very smooth formula. Oh my goodness gracious, it looks like I got a little Hershey squirt on my pinky. They're buildable. Here in the very front, you can see it's literally like the color of my skin. Daring shade. It's very nude and it's pretty sheer, at least from what I can see. It's like the same color as my skin. Right here, we have the bravery shade. This is the shimmer shade. It is pretty. I can definitely see myself putting that on top of a nude. Next here, we have determination. You can see the shade is pretty pigmented. Terracotta red color. Here is courage right here. Again, it's pretty pigmented. There is some fallout when I was applying it from my finger to my hand. If you're trying to put these on with a brush, the fallout is going to be absolutely destructive. I would probably be putting these shades on with a finger, but overall, the shades are pretty. Not bad, and they feel nice. They don't feel like gross and gritty to the touch. All right, next we're going to swatch the Hufflepuff palette. I'm going to start first with this shimmer shade, Trustworthy. Okay, feels pretty soft, but not like, ooh, that is a pretty color. Kind of similar to the shade that I saw in the last palette, but that is really pretty. Next, I'm gonna go in with this matte shade right here. This is hard work. Very smooth, kind of almost like creamy texture. Mm, uh, I'm not a fan of like flesh toned skin crayon looking shades. <laughs> I just probably wouldn't use these very often. I'm not even gonna lie. Next, I'm gonna go in with the stamped pan. This is humility. I'm gonna destroy the badger. I, I really apologize to all of the Hufflepuffs, but I'm going in here with humility. Oh wow, we definitely have a little bit of pigment here. Feeling very Hufflepuff vibes so far. Very yellow. And then last but not least, we have this matte shade Patience. Just like a brown. Oh wow. It's giving dookie. Trustworthy. So you can see it is a pretty shimmer shade. Nothing too crazy. It pretty much resembles the same like golden shimmer I saw in the last palette. Here we have a hard work, almost a little bit like a lighter yellow tannish color. Here we have humility. This is where the pigment starts to be present. Kind of deep mustard yellow. I'm not a fan of it. Here we have patience. This is just a brown matte color. If it had some shimmer, I think that would have been really cute. Since they only gave Hufflepuffs one shimmer shade, I think it would have been easy to just kind of make that brown on a shimmer shade. I would have liked a sparkly brown. I think that would have been really cute. But overall, I'm not loving the Hufflepuff color palette, to be quite honest. I'll probably use it here and there, but probably won't be grabbing the Hufflepuff palette as much. I am going to swatch the Slytherin palette. This is the one I probably would want to use the most. Not only because I am a Slytherin, but because I really like using green shades on my eyes. So, I'm assuming, out of all of them, this is the one that's gonna have the greens in it. They're not very green to 
to begin with, so I would have liked to have seen maybe like a bold, bright green like this. They really only have one green shade, and this is almost like a blue. Anyway, I'm gonna start with the first shade, which is Ambition. I am having to go in a few times, though. It's not super pigmented. It's kind of, ooh, actually, it is really pretty. I do like that. I could see myself maybe even using that as like a highlight. Next, I'm gonna go in with Cunning, which is the other glittery shade. Oh, wow, it's actually picking up a lot of pigment on my finger. Ooh, wow. This green glitter is really pretty. Next, I'm gonna go in with Leadership, which is this kind of beige matte shade. There's a little bit of fallout with that one as it's going on my hands. Okay, this one looks like Dehydrated Dookie, so there is that. Then last, I'm gonna go in with Destiny, which is a black matte, and this is the stamped pan. Holy crap, that is very pigmented. Okay, as it should be, it is a black shade. She's there. The color is in the room with us today. Ambition, really pretty. And then next to it, we have Cunning. This is probably my favorite shade that I've swatched so far out of all of them. We have Leadership. I don't like this color. Probably won't use that at all. And then next we have Destiny, which is the matte black shade. And the final palette we are going to swatch. Get all this glitter off me. Dang. I'm gonna be scrubbing glitter off of my booty cheeks for the next month. Last, we will be doing the Ravenclaw palette. Again, we have a super basic beige shade. Like these all just have a very basic nude shade. And this is the first First color and it is called wisdom so let's get in there shall we still feels very creamy they're all the same formula all the same consistency okay just straight up the same color as my skin so it looks like there's literally nothing there next we have curiosity which is a glittery shade this one is pretty Ooh, that one is really pretty next I'm going in with wit which is a royal blue glitter shade seems very pigmented oh wow that is really pretty I like that that. Not as bold of a blue as I would have thought, but pretty. And last, we're going in with Curiosity, which is the matte shade, and it is the stamped pan. Very, very pigmented. Ah messed up the eagle's head too, but oh well. So, ew, I don't love this. I'm not loving this blue. It's very weird. Nah, it's gonna be a no for me. There's some good things and some bad. It is really kind of hard to see it on my skin, but this is Wisdom right here. Next, we have this shade, which is Curiosity. This is pretty. Next, we have the Wit. It is really pretty. I do like that. Last, we have this color. This is the Creativity. I don't like this color at all. I think it looks very strange. It's kind of like a mold green. It's moldy green. Overall, out of the Ravenclaw palette, I'll only probably be using the sparkly shades. After swatching the palettes, I will say I think the formula is pretty good. I think the pigment is pretty good. It's buildable. The problem I foresee having is going to be fallout, especially if you do brush to skin. But if you do skin to skin with your fingers, I think these apply pretty well. At least they did in the swatches. Next, we're going to swatch the the Herbologist lipstick, black glittery lipstick. So let's check it out and see what she's all about, shall we? Ugh, I just think that is so pretty. I really like sparkly stuff, so that, ah! It's really pretty, it's eye candy, honey. Ooh, oh! No, so this is what we're working with. Is the pigment in the room with us? Is the glitter in the room with us? What did I just put on my skin? Where is it? No, because it quite literally just looks like a slug just slunked across my hand and left its goop on my flesh. There's no glitter. This is it. I put it all over my skin. There's no color. There's no glitter. The only glitter that's on my hand right now is just like residue from the eyeshadow palette that I just put on my skin. Am I getting punked? What is, what is it? What is happening? And the shade is going away. <sighs> Well, that's the first L. This is not a lipstick. Seems like more of a lip balm. I will say the formula feels nice. It's soft. It glides on well. It's giving lip balm. It is cute. If it does really have hydrating properties, then I could definitely see myself bringing this with me. It does say it's ultra hydrating, so I'll probably end up bringing this with me and putting it in my purse just because it's cute. But it says it's supposed to have a black finish with micro glitter flex, and I didn't see anything. I did not 
not see anything. So it's a no for me. I'm gonna be using it as a lip balm. Well, they can't all be bangers. Last swatch test of this video, the lip gloss set. Hopefully it doesn't disappoint me because I will be really honest with you, this lipstick has me a little bit like, <laughs> What is happening? Like, am I getting punked? Like, is Ashton Kutcher about to pop out of my closet and punch me in the knees? I don't know. Let's first swatch Felix Felicis and see how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and just go out on a whim and assume this is gonna be very sheer and it's not gonna have much color. There's definitely glitter in this lip gloss. Extremely sheer, but there's glitter in it. You can definitely see that there's a little bit of gold flecks in there. I'm gonna go in with Poly Juice Potion. Ooh, yeah, this is really cute. So I like these because they're thin, they're sheer, but they do have a little bit of color to them. So Polyjuice Potion doesn't seem as glittery to me. Here's Polyjuice Potion. It just kind of looks like there's some slugs slugging around on my hand. I think it's probably going to be pretty on the lips, but there's not much to look at in terms of swatching. I am now going to try Amortentia, which does look like it has a pink hue to it. Hopefully we'll see a little bit of actual color in this one. Oh yes, we do have a color. This one's giving Barbie girl. It's kind of like a lip gloss you'd wear in like middle school. It's very sheer, but it's cute. Very nice shade to just put on top of something. It's got a little bit of a pink tint to it, which is nice. And the last product that we will be swatching is the Draft of Living Death. This looks like it's also going to have a little bit of a colored hue to it. Oh, it does. It's very, very sheer though. It's very, very subtle. Hard to tell. Probably won't be able to see it very well on camera. There definitely is a little bit of a purpley hue to that. I ripped it off! No! No! Uh, mine broke. I just tried to pull it out of the little potions book and it broke. This is true she and nature though. Having something break like the first time you even try to take it out is so common. I've had necklaces from she and break like the first time I used them. I think I'm gonna end up taking these little brown keychain things off anyway. I don't really understand what they're supposed to be. Overall, the lip glosses, they're all right. They're a little slimy. They're super basic lip gloss. I wish they smelled good. They don't smell like anything, but if you don't like scent, then maybe that's good for you. Let's get right into my honest review about the Harry Potter She Glam makeup. Is it worth your money? Should you buy it? What do I think? Overall, my rating for this collection out of five, all things considered, right? So not just packaging, not just presentation, but overall like formula, pigment, everything. I would give it a three out of five. I think the packaging is overall what really sold the collection for me because the packaging is super cute. If I was just rating the packaging, I would give it like a five out of five because I think it's really cute. I think they hit the nail on the head as far as packaging goes, but as far as like everything else, quality, pigment, fragrance, you know, just really everything. I gotta give it a three. I think it falls short in some areas. Things could be better. And I think that there's room for improvement, but overall, is it worth it? I think yes. I don't regret buying this. I spent $55 before tax and shipping on this collection. I think that the products are usable. I will use them. I really like the presentation. I really like the packaging. I enjoy it. It made me happy. So overall, I think it's worth it. Let me know what you think of all of the products and the overall collection down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this review, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and smash that red subscribe button. Do it. Do it now. You know you want to. Don't forget. You can also just click this link up here if you want to subscribe now. And if you enjoyed watching this Harry Potter She and She Glam collab, then also be sure to check out my recent haul where I went through a lot of their Harry Potter merch and really dug in deep and gave you a very honest review as to whether or not the She and Harry Potter merch is worth it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!